Let's open First Timothy 6, verse 12. Uh, it just... Uh, can you make it bigger? Is it possible? Can you make it so that you break maybe into two? I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fight the good fight. I woke up this morning thinking when I come to this service, how should I open the service? And I just hear, fight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. You know, fight, fight, fighting is a bad word, right? They write some place. No fighting. Some of these places in school. But Paul said to Timothy, fight. It's a fight. Fight the good fight. Thank you. Fight the good fight. Then something is opposing you. If there's a fight, there must be some runs of fighting. You don't fight in one second. It's true. No. Paul was telling Timothy, you have to fight. You have to fight. If you don't fight what you don't like, they will stay stay with you. Like I said, excuse me. If you don't fight what you don't like, they will stay with you and they will stick to you and they will stay with you. If you don't fight lack of money, you will be broke all the time to give excuses. You're going to fight sickness, fight disease, but don't fight like people fight. Fight the good fight of faith. That's a fight. Praise God. When that is a fight, that's a struggle. But thank God, it's a good fight. That means we win. Praise God, somebody. Let me just warn you now. Uh, 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 people won't fight your fight for you. It's your fight. It's your fight. They can pray with you. They can pray for you. But it's your fight. They call it the fight, good fight of faith. That means, for instance, we just had Pastor David just pray about putting off old man and put on the new man. You have to fight that. You have to fight that old man. You have to, by, by faith, you have to fight it. Symptoms, you have to fight them. Praise God. You know, it's good to just pray, but God needs to just pray. He said fight. And fight means that you have to confront something and, and, and repose it. Praise God, somebody. And if you don't do that quite early in life, you will have some allies that will not be in your life. Certain attitudes, certain behavior, certain circumstances that will just follow us all through life because we didn't fight them. You know, when we are very small, our parents will fight things in our life. Don't look at me like that. That's a bad way of looking. So they slap you and knock you till you drop that habit. Am I right? (laughs) Praise God. Praise God. I can't forget the day my father, my mother were talking about somebody, and I was sitting down there, just I think on the floor, and I think it was a Jeme in Avri uh, uh, I was sitting on the floor, and they were talking about the person, and I said, "Eh, I know the person." They said, "Shut up! Who asked you to put your mouth into this?" Hello, and I thought we are three of us now, and they just they just went after me. That helped me today not to meddle with people other people's affairs. <laughs> they fought that in our lives. Sometimes, mommy and daddy over here, you, you feel bad that you are fighting something in your children's life. Don't, don't feel too bad. Don't feel too bad. Sometimes you have to fight it for them, fight it with them. Some of them don't want to read. You fight them reading. You must, you must read. But the greatest fight you must fight is your own personal fight. Sometimes you are our worst enemy. Sometimes our body is our worst enemy. You see, somebody who doesn't work very well, who is lazy, is because he doesn't fight the laziness in his body. He likes to just let his body just do whatever. Praise God. Amen. So fight the good fight. And it's a faith fight. It's a faith fight. And there are two things about faith, believing and confessing. So you have to believe in your heart that this is not for you. I don't want this. And you have to say it with your mouth. Have you ever noticed that when you pray about something, it doesn't change next minute? How I many of you have noticed that? If you don't notice that now, you're growing up to know. You know, you pray about something, maybe about an issue, it doesn't change immediately. And then you say, God, why? No, you start fighting. When you pray, you chose your side. Now, be on the side of God and fight it. Every time you got something in your body, you say, by stripes I'm healed in the name of Jesus. 
You just say, God is my healer. Praise God, somebody. You put a proper fight. Have you ever, you know, sometimes, I don't know if I'm going to ask you, I've been in a gang. You know, when there's a gang fight, you know, this person will start fighting and call the rest to show up. And then it becomes your fight. God is calling us to fight against the devil and all his works and all his uh, craziness in our world. You know, speak up. Hallelujah. Don't want that. You got some. See, you have to fight mood. You have to fight mood. Don't buy that psychology that women are always moody. That's not true. You fight it. You know, don't just take things the way they are. Just fight them. Fight the status quo. Hallelujah. You know, we've lost this kind of thing in Christianity, so we just blend today. We just blend. We don't, we can't, we don't want to fight in our offices anymore. I don't mean fighting people, but fighting for what is right, fighting the good fight of faith, standing by the word of God. We don't do that anymore. Everybody just kind of, you know, mukulu, mukulu, mukenke, you know, just. So let's, let's, let's do the fight. Sickness, disease, lack, issues, you have to put up a stand against it. No. Don't wonder. Sometimes you go, the Lord was telling me that when you pray, ask me for something, you have to fight for it. And you have to fight to possess it. I'll give you two examples. Remember Daniel in the Bible? He said he prayed. And 21 days after, there was no result. And he kept on, you know, standing. And then the angel came and said, you know what? Since the first day you prayed, I was sent with an answer. But I had to pass through this region where the prince of Persia is. You see, the prince of Persia is the prince over, the devil prince over that arena. See, if you pray for money, pray for breakthrough, it has to come through this life. And the devil is in charge over here. He's the God of this world. So you have to take what belongs to you. And pastor, if God has given me is my own, oh, you are joking. I'm talking like an evangelist this morning. <laughs> You're joking. God said to Israel, I've given you the land, the promised land. Did they just walk into it? They had to fight. They had to fight for it. I close with this before Stamuji will come. Uh, years ago, I don't know, we were having a name ceremony in our house. I don't know whether it was the last one or second to the last one. That's about almost 20 something years ago. And it was a name of the ceremony. You are busy serving food to everybody. And then, one of my brothers was having stomach problem. I, I remember the story. So he said, oh, okay, okay. No so I was not in the mood to fight anything uh, because I was busy, you know, taking care of this civilian, you know, doing kinds of things, taking care of everybody. So he said, uh, I said, okay, okay, we'll pray. My other brother, you know, David, David, David is, is an evangelist. He screams out, you know, he just grabbed me and said, come out of him in the name of Jesus. He said, Otilo, praise God. <laughs> I was trying to pray, you know, I was tired. Food, stuff, civilians, you know. So you just sometimes like that. Hallelujah. In fact, take your stand now. I don't know where you need to draw the boundary. Tell yourself, it's mine. I don't want that. I want that. Can you just do that? <laughs> Praise God. Just make up your mind today. No, I am taking my stand on this. I refuse this. And I'm fighting for my health. I'm not going to lie down. Don't hand it over only to doctors or to the banks. Take the fight yourself to the gates. Hallelujah. <laughs> Maybe over a child, you know, take the fight. You're going to have the victory. We already have the victory in Jesus. Let's just take it. Fight the good fight of faith. Maybe something delayed. Just say, I'm releasing you. You are not, you are not, I'm not, I'm not going to just lie down for it. No, no, no. I'm going to take it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Can we give thanks for God who has given us the victory? Thank you for the victory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. You know what I just saw when we were praying? I saw that when you start fighting somebody, they get strong. But as you fight them and prevail over them, they get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. And the time comes, they just back off from fighting you.